Okay, map five. This one also had me kind of good, to be honest. Um, I think this one is um, it's also a tricky map with a lot of like complex gears that you have to get. It already knows that at the start. So I think in this campaign, we have a lot of unique maps again. Yeah. I am so fucking happy. And then also a no set here. Yes, and yo, Toby. Toby doing stuff what's up? What's up? Subscribed. Thank you for the long resub. Time, no yeah, long time no see. I hope you do. I hope you're doing great, man. All right. So, um, this map. Um, I think this one is very tricky due to the gears. And let's uh, roll it back from the from the ending here. I mean, you can already see a very nasty no slide. If you don't feel comfortable with this one, I think this is a very hard one to get because you really have to commit to that. But if you're too far on the right side here, you will not gain time or you will hardly gain time with that. But most importantly, you will lose the approach for the ending because the ending is actually really important. Why is the ending important? Because you can hear the car gearing up now. So there's a gear to hold. And what did we learn? You need to straighten out your car. You should not be in a drifting movement whilst you're gearing up. So this way you need to open up your steering and when you are too far on on the on the right side or either either left side, you have to readjust. You will bump, you will be too far on the left. So it's very important to actually get that gear. I think you can even get this time without um considering that gear but it makes your life a bit easier for the ending because try to just stand still or like just don't steer like do proactive driving like how they do it it's just a very very small input but it's very tricky to get that actually so um make sure to to do that and yeah i mean also like very good run here from shadow Crancer. um let's actually watch that and i want to see what he does wow like like the tap in was perfect like, he got the perfect gear change into speed side again. And then also here, like, look how much speed he has. Wow. Really, really strong run, actually. Wow. He lost a bit in the ending. But how did he gain so much time, you might ask. There's a gear here coming up, and he's still on an O side. You cannot see it. But look, he just did, did him. That was his gear transition. That is perfect. Went into the speed side, got a perfect transition, got an insane run here, and that's how he gained, like, one car length. Like, very impressive run from Shadow Crancer, just to be, um, just to, uh, talk, just to talk about it. I also don't know what action key is good there, I think, I'm not sure if that was action key 3 or 4, but, uh, you need to feel that nose slide, that one is not easy. But yeah, well, how do you want to get AT metal on this map? I think it's also not the hardest one to get, but you just need to get like a common sense. Okay, how do I predict turns? How do I set them up? And how do I exit them? Yeah, okay. Thank you, thank you, Wills, actually, for, for doing that. Uh, so you need to be very close. You don't need to go for the no set here. That is not needed for AT Metal. And then as a setup here, I mean, it's also like, okay, if you go a bit further to the right, because this turn he has such a tight angle going so close to the wall i doubt that anyone who goes for the at will do that actually so you can be a bit close like a bit further to the right yeah and then just get a nice downhill what is very important here is that you like your car will awkwardly slide downwards so uh the turn feels weird because you just go downwards into a left turn so you need to um you need to be careful with that and uh, try to do that turn over and over and then you will eventually control. But try to be very far on the right before approaching, uh, before doing that turn and then steer to the left. So, um, and here just go like diagonal. I kind of thought this is that this is an outside turn, but it's not. But here just go with the turn. Don't go for the no side there. That is completely fine. And I mean, what Shadow Crancer did here is just illegal. To be honest, that is just a, a very, very good run. So, uh, very, very nice run here from uh, from everybody, but especially Shadow Crancer, who did a very good time. But you can see here this car here, for example. He was a bit too inside and he lost a bit of speed with that. Had a very good ending, but the car is caught up, right? And this uh, is 
like, just leading to a bit of a speed loss. But this is just a very, very, like, very soft example. A very, very soft example. But you can lose even more time with that. But uh, Saiye got a really good time there. But this inside line. Also, is that a Dragonite, by the way? That is, no? Yeah, he was too inside there. And lost speed, like, significant. Forever caught up a lot. But then he had a better line here. But you can see it. It's just a uh, very, very cool map. And uh, I think there's a lot of things of how you can uh, can solve it yourself. But just try to, like, avoid those outside pillars as much as possible. You don't want to bump. And then it's fine. Okay.